Hey YouTube, uh, today I'm going to show you how to make super sour dill pickles. Uh, it's really, really sour, really, really good. So if you like uh, sour dill pickles, uh, the equation for it is uh, two to one vinegar and water. Two parts vinegar, one part water. And uh, the recipe that we're going to do today is we're going to do six cups of liquid. So we're going to have four cups of vinegar, we're going to have two cups of water, we're going to add one third cup of sea salt, and we're going to have two teaspoons of dill. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to chop up our cucumbers and what we're going to do is we're going to put them in a bowl and we're going to heat our liquid which is going to be four cups of vinegar two cups of water we're going to heat Woo! there's my face and uh, we're going to add the dill we're going to bring it to a boil and then we're going to put it over our cucumbers uh, so that it is able to bring out the moisture and the water from the pickles and then we'll put the cucumbers in the jars and then we will can it alright so while you're making your pickles what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and cut off both ends so that uh, you take away the enzymes that create uh, the pickles to start getting soft and so these are going to provide you with better crunchy pickles so make sure that you cut off each one of the ends so that uh, you keep your pickles crisp Okay, take all your ends and throw them in your vermicompost bin so you can make wonderful compost. All right, wash your cucumbers and next you want to go ahead and size your cucumber to your jar and make all your cuts after that. So what we're going to do is we're going to see what is going to be a good height for our cucumbers and we'll go ahead and make a cut and then we'll use that as a template for the rest. All right, so you got them all fit to size. Now we're going to cut them up into spears and get them ready for their hot bath of liquid, vinegar, water, salt. And Cut it in half, and then cut it in threes, or fours, if you have a big enough piece of cucumber. We're also going to add some garlic uh, to our recipe, and I'm estimating about uh, six jars of pickles, so I'm going to put one clove of garlic per pickles. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shuck the outer skin and just put the whole clove of garlic in there, and uh, I don't know if you've ever had it, but pickled garlic is amazing, especially if you do it with the sour pickling. Alright, so we're going to put our two cups of water. and we're To turn our heat on high and bring the liquid to a boil. Alright, we're going to add our two teaspoons of dill. Alright, now take your boiling mixture and pour it over your prepped cucumbers and let it sit overnight or for at least 12 hours. Alright, now cover your cooking cucumbers and let them sit overnight or up to 12 hours so that the moisture may be pulled out of the cucumber. Alright, so we let our cucumbers sit overnight and they have extracted much of the water from uh, their liquids. Now we are getting our hot water bath uh, ready so that we can put our jars in there after we're done. We're going to first take our jars and we're going to fill them up with our cucumbers and then we're going to heat our liquid uh, that has the vinegar, water, and dill and we're going to heat that up to a boil and fill our jars up and right now we are also heating up the rings so that when we put them on the lids will go on nicely alright so we're going to go ahead and fill all of our jars with our pickles and then fill them with the hot liquid. Alright, the jar stuffing is done. Now we're going to fill it with the hot liquid and we're going to put the lids on and then put it in the hot water bath for 15 minutes. Alright, so we got them filled. You put on the lids, put them on fingertip tight and then go ahead and put them in your hot water bath and after you put them all in there you need to make sure that all of the water is two inches above all the jars
Alright, so after the 15 minutes, you pull them out and you let them sit overnight or at least 12 hours undisturbed. And uh, to make sure that they are all uh, done, you wait for the little pops. And what will happen is the lid will suck in and it will pop, and that means that it is fully pressurized. Woo! -hoo! There's my face!